Welcome to this week's edition of the Dakota Angler 2-Minute Fishing Report. Well, just like the weather, the fishing is hot around the area. I mean, we are in the midsummer uh, presentation technique, so to speak, uh, and the water temperatures are in the 70s. Uh, so things are definitely taking off. Uh, you know, you would think that things might kind of taper off a little bit, but they've been going strong all this week and this past weekend. Uh, lakes up in the northeastern part of the state that produce walleye include Wa Bay. A lot of a lot of nice eater walleye is being caught out of Wa Bay. Once in a while, a, a bigger one would be caught, but again, a lot of nice eaters. Bitter starting to pick up. Opitz has been good. Lynn, uh, Big Stone. If you saw the results from the tournament, you saw a lot of big fish being caught up at Big Stone. Uh, Goose, Reed, Midland, uh, Hazelton, Minnewasta. Uh, Swan has all been producing walleyes. A few being caught at Indian Springs as well as Dry Lake by Clark and then also north and south rush. Down the southeastern part of the state, the lakes included uh, Ponset, and that's really taken off the past uh, week and a half. Uh, Thompson, Sinai, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, uh, 81 Ponds, Whitewood. Uh, also North Island, the biggest problem there is just the parking if you're fishing from a boat. And then also a few being caught at Brant, Madison, and then also Twin. And remember, Twin is the trophy lake. The Missouri River continues to do well up and down the river. Uh, again, uh, probably a lot of nice eater fish being caught, nothing real big, but every once in a while you'll get one. And the main presentation out there right now seems to be pulling crankbaits. Uh, a lot of flicker shads being pulled out there, uh, a lot of boogie shads from Walleye Nation, and even uh, some rapala shad wraps that are being used. But what other people are using on area lakes, uh, people are switching over away from live baits, so to speak. Uh, you know, it's occasional jig and middle bite, but it's mainly jig and swim baits. Uh, and then also spinners uh, using with crawlers or a, a slow death rig. You know, bottom bouncing helps you cover a little bit more water. Uh, you're looking for those more active fish. And that's the same thing with the next presentation that people are using is the crankbaits. A lot of people now, again, with the heat and the more of a summer presentation are pulling crankbaits, uh, looking for those pods of fish out there. Uh, the types of crankbaits that they're using, a lot of hornets, a lot of Selmo hornets. And I'll be pr I'm proud to say that a lot of people are having a lot of the success on the hornets that are exclusive to us here at Dakota Angler, like the DA bomb. It's been really, shall I say, the bomb. Uh, other ones include the flicker shads and then also, as I mentioned, a few on the boogie shads. But again, it depends on the depth of the water that you use in the boogie shad, mainly used out at the river. The crappie bite continues to go in some areas. It's starting to taper off a little bit. The lakes that produce crappie included uh, Vermilion, Thompson, uh, Henry, Ponson, as well as Big Stone. And what guys are using, again, jigs and uh, you know, hooks and minnows underneath a bobber, great for kids. Uh, also the shiny hiney, and then also the northern uh, thunder crappie king has been working quite well. So again, things to keep in mind this next week. In this week's edition of Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to talk about something new because guess what? It is new, and it's not only new to Dakota Angler, but it's new to Elliot. And we're going to be talking about the Elliot Identity Rods. These rods are fantastic, folks. And I'm proud to say that Dakota Angler is one of six, only six stores in the U.S. are selling this rod right now, the Identity Rod. What makes these rods so special is that they are geared towards a specific type of walleye fishing. Uh, my son Josh and I used two of the rods up in our recent trip uh, that we had this past week. And let me tell you, they were unbelievable. The reaction that these uh, rods had uh, honestly, I can, I see a lot of rods come and go. These Elliott identity rods are the true thing. It is definitely uh, increases my, uh, increased my catch rate to say the least. Uh, the sensitivity of the rod was unbelievable. And like I said, the reaction of the rod was unbelievable as, as well. They come in a number of different uh, series, again, geared towards the type of fishing that you will do such as the one I used was the rig and jig. The rig and jig was a fantastic rod. My son also used one uh, that's going to be uh, the ultimate rigging rod. Uh, also, there's another one that I really like to have is the reaction uh, bait rod. Again, all these types of rods geared towards the type of fishing you're using, whether or not you jigs and plastic, jigs and live bait, or you're throwing swim baits. All those types of uh, presentations are covered in the series of the Elliott rod, the identity rod. So again, Stop on by here at the store. You will not go home without one once you put it in your hands because these rods are phenomenal. And I can attest from firsthand experience, you won't regret it. So make sure you stop on by because we're only one of six in the upper Midwest. If you can't make it here to the store, they're available online. We'll ship it out to you at dakotaangler.com or give us a call at 605-336-9132. 
And now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember, folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And before we end this week's report, I want to give you an update on a situation that none of us want to really talk about, but that was the robbery that we had a couple of, or the break-in that we had a couple of weeks ago. Uh, good news, they caught him. Uh, they caught him a, a couple of days ago. Uh, he is now in the hands of the justice system. So the good thing is uh, he was caught. And the bad thing is we don't know whether or not we're going to get our inventory back or not. But again, the good thing is he's off the streets for now. And uh, I want to just take this time to thank all of you for your support. I know a lot of you are thinking of us and praying for us and uh, hoping that uh, the guy would get caught. Well, all your thoughts and prayers came true. He, he did get caught. So, again, from the bottom of our heart and my heart, uh, we greatly appreciate that. Folks, if you have any questions about what you heard on here at the report, and if you want to stop on by and put one of these Elliott rods in your hand, make sure you do so because they are going to go quick. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner of Todd High Camp, and as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next week, and again, thanks for watching, stay healthy, and folks, stay safe.